Hello students, welcome to e Shala. I am P.G. Bhatma Gauri, working as an assistant professor, faculty of engineering, Avinash Lingam University. Today, we are going to discuss the module Micro Entrepreneurship. Micro Entrepreneurship means an activity of setting up a small enterprise or business. This activity takes all the financial risk in the hope of getting profit out of it. Micro enterprise is a small business that employs a less number of employees. The micro enterprise usually operates with fewer than 10 people and is started with a small amount of capital. Most of micro enterprises initiated for providing goods or services for their local areas. Entrepreneurs is a person who start a business or exercise initiative by organizing a venture to take benefit of an opportunity as a decision maker. He decides how and how much of goods or service to be produced. Microeconomic theory also started studying the theory of consumer behavior. Micro entrepreneurship objective to understand various concepts of microeconomics, to know about concepts of micro entrepreneurship and steps to start small industry micro units in the coming years hundreds of millions of new jobs need to be created to keep up with the demographic changes and population growth in low and middle income countries lmic's just in order to keep unemployment and under employment rates at their current levels, let alone to improve the employment solution, the micro entrepreneurship will be tremendously improved. The World Development Report 2013 on jobs estimates that this will require an additional 600 million jobs by 2020. If the ratio of unemployment to working age population is to be kept constant, so there is a need for creating large number of micro entrepreneurs, a person who sets up and runs a small business. Economics Business economics is the application of economic theory and methodology for decision making problems faced by the business firms. The technique of economics and the analytical tools developed therein can be applied not only in the business firm in all the institution faced with optimization in decision making it can be used private business firms public sector firms non profit institutions service sectors etc business economics or managerial economics closely connected with microeconomics and macroeconomics theory of decision making operational research and statistic Economic theory is divided into two main branches. One is microeconomics and macroeconomics. Microeconomic is concerned with a detailed analysis of the behavior of individual economic units, be it consumer producers. A producer is a decision maker in the unit which can consist a person or group of persons. Similarly, a Consumer is a decision making unit that also consists of person or group of persons, for example, family or household. Microeconomics is a study of particular firms, particular household, individual prices, wages, incomes, individual industries, particular commodities. The field study of microeconomics include the following price dis determination, production function. Distribution and efficiency. Microeconomic theory, we also call the theory of price, started studying the theory of consumer behavior. Nowadays, utility analysis, indifference curve analysis, theory of consumer surplus, etc., also taken care by the microeconomic theory. It is used to extensively determine the price determination. 
It is important to remember the microeconomics is concerned with relative prices of goods and not the general price level. The study of later comes under the macroeconomics, that is, it leads to general price levels. The issues of distribution of national income along different people and different groups of people of production is determined and why it is higher or lower as compared with the income of other people. Microeconomics studies these problems. Enforcing efficiency in use factors of production is a cru crucial economic problem. Economics try to determine the condition under which the production can be considered to be efficient. Significance of economics. Microeconomics plays a crucial role in explaining the behavior of free market economy. It helps in determining low equilibrium is determined in various products and factor market. An important branch of microeconomics, welfare economics, helps in defining and analyzing the rules of economic efficiency. Microeconomics is also useful in study of public finance and international economics. Business economics has contributed immensely to improve decision making in business through demand analysis and forecasting, cost analysis, analysis of different market structure, etc. All individuals are constantly involved in making choices and in allotting their resources to satisfy their unlimited wants. Therefore, economics touches their behavior of each and every individual. It enables to make rational choices. It helps the customer in maximizing his level of satisfaction and the producer in the maximizing its profits. It helps in deciding what commodities are to be produced in the economy and in what quantities, whose wants are to be satisfied and whose are left unsatisfied, how is the pattern of resource allocation in the present to be determined, how are the resources allotted between the present and future requirements, etc. Small scale entrepreneurship can be classified in five major types given follows. Manufacturing industries. It is the industries which can be produced complete products which is used for direct consumption and also processing. Feeder industries. It is the industries specialized in certain type of products and services. For example, electroplating, casting. Service industries. It is used to provide service for the humanity. Ancillary to large industry. So these are the micro industries. It is used to produce the minor parts which is utilized by the large industries. Mining and other business. So these are the some classifications of small scale entrepreneurship. The twin process of globalization and liberalization combined with rapid advancements, rapid advances in information and communication technologies are creating new dynamics of production, enterprise development and international competition. Countries existing enterprise develop strategies in the effective way meet the challenges and changes in the environment. Public private sector plays an important platform for interaction of the policy development in the case of the globalization and other factors. Given the many areas where there exists a mutual interest in cooperation, given the many areas where there exists mutual interest in cooperation between two sectors that is public and private including skills, technological and infrastructural development, environmental production, product, protection and the promotion of inter-firm backward and forward linkages. The ability of government and private sector to build an effective working relationship assumes the particular importance of changes in the environment. Such a working relationship may be competitive advantages in its own right in a globalizing and liberalizing world economy. In the Indian context, Micro, small and medium enterprises are defined as based on the investment in plant and machinery and on equipments for enterprise providing the or rendering services. Two things are important for the entrepreneurs. Internal factors, it is closely related with the organization. External factors, namely those organizing in networks and business environment. 
Studying dynamics of micro entrepreneurs has led to insight that there is no single factor, but rather the number of factors from internal as well as external categories that drive the enterprise development and job creation. Investment range of various business. Microeconomics investment does not exceed 25 lakhs rupees. Small business more than 25 lakhs too, but it is not extended to 5 crores. Medium sized business more than 5 crores but not extend to 10 crores. For the service oriented micro entrepreneurship, the micro enterprise will be up to 10 lakh rupees. Small enterprise lies between 10 lakh but small enterprise of service oriented micro uh, entrepreneurship between 10 lakhs to 2 crores. Medium size between 2 crores up to 5 crores. Manufacturing Enterprises Micro Manufacturing Enterprises The investment in plant and machinery does not exist rupees 25 lakhs. The guidelines which regard the investment in plant and machinery or equipments as defined in the MSMED Act 2006. It is given as the natural the nature of activity is micro, the investment in plant and machinery excluding land and building for enterprise engaged in manufacturing or production process and preservation of goods not exceeded of amount rupees 25 lakhs and the investment in the equipment excluding land and building for enterprise engaged in providing a rendering of services not extended rupees 10 lakhs. The importance of micro entrepreneurship sector. The contribution of micro entrepreneurship sector was listed below. In the manufacturing sectors, micro entrepreneurship contribution was 87 percentage of its total employment. In the service sector, micro entrepreneurship contributed 13 percentage of its total employment and the micro entrepreneurship contributes 40 percentage of exports of the country. In India, micro entrepreneurship sector employs about 42 million persons in over 30 million units throughout the country. There are more than 600 products ranging from traditional to high-tech items which are being manufactured by Indian MSME Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises MSME. This sector has emerged as a highly vibrant and dynamic sector of the Indian economy over the last six decades. MSME plays an important role in providing large employment opportunity at comparatively low capital cost than large industry but also help in inter industrialization of rural and backward areas. It also helps to reducing regional imbalances, assuring more equitable distribution of national income and wealth. MSME are complementary to large industries as ancillary units and the sector contributes enormously to the socio-economic development of the country. Institutional support structure for MSME in India at federal level is given below. Ministry of MSME Small Industries Development Organization SIPCO National Small Industries Corporation NSIC Kadi and Village Industries Commission KVIC Kayar Board Entrepreneurship Development Institution EDI of MSME Micro Enterprise Microfinance seeks the help of micro enterprise by loan for small amount of capital to these business. This allows poor individuals or families to start their own business, earn income and benefit their community. For example, a woman in a developing country may use microcredit to take out loan and purchase of sewing machine. She should use the machine to establish a micro enterprise that specializes in tailoring.
the woman would increase her wealth and help the community by providing a service. Microfinance is a type of banking service that is provided to unemployed or low income individuals or groups who otherwise have no other access to financial services. Ultimately, the goal of microservice is to give low income people an opportunity to become self-sufficient by providing a way to save money, borrow money and get insurance. Microfinancing provides option to customers with limited resources to promote participation in productive areas or to support small business. While institution participating in the area of microfinance is most often associated with lending some microfinance companies which is offered additional services including bank accounts and insurance. Additionally, some institutions provide information in this area of financial category such as understanding the interest rates and managing the financial risk. Some of the manufacturing industries in the list of micro entrepreneurship. Food products, chemical and chemical products, basic metal industries, metal products, electrical machinery and parts. Rubber and plastic products, parts of electrical goods, etc. Some of services products in the micro industries are beverages, tobacco products, repair services, cotton textiles, wool, silk, synthetic fiber, textile, etc. Other manufacturing services are leather and leather goods, plastic and rubber goods, domestic utilities, safety matches, toothpaste, sanitary items that is soap, in detergent etc. Village industries and tiny sectors. Village industries have been defined as artisans or small industrial activities. It may be a manufacturing processing or preservation and service. In village and small towns with population does not exceed 50,000 people and involving utilization of locally available natural resources and human skill. Here the individual credit requirements not exceeded rupees 25,000. Tiny sectors included industrial units located in villages and towns where population is not exceeded 50,000 and which is original investment machinery and equipments does not exceed rupees 5 lakh rupees. The difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics are Economic theory is divided into two main branches, micro and macro. Microeconomics deals with the particular firms, particular household, individual prices, wages, income, individual industries and particular commodities. Macroeconomics is concerned with aggregates of deals with national income, pending national amount, aggregate consumption and aggregate investment, general price level and level of employment. While price theory is the core of microeconomics, income theory is the core of macroeconomics. Here we are listed some steps to start the small industry. Starting small industry, it leads to the growth of microeconomics and micro entrepreneurship. It process strong orientation towards entrepreneurship and growth. The most appropriate decision would be start small entrepreneurs before going to start the large enterprises. Instead of playing the subs subsequent role of an employee worker, an, an entrepreneur processing to keen aptitude for setting up small scale unit should formulate a business plan and take a number of steps to give shape to his business idea. He is to prepare project reports and obtain various approvals and sanctions. The opportunity provide the products or service which can be generate sufficient and surplus income to the national economy. First, 
we have to identify the market and market gaps in the local areas. After identifying the market and the small unit it should be started with the available resources with the small manpower within the home or the office which is in small space. Then go for the proper approvals and financial uh, benefits from the natural and private sector companies. Finally, the opportunity to provide the product and service creates a huge amount in the national economy as well as the owner of the business. This is all more true if one is a belief small is beautiful. However, ideas need to be filtered through multi-layer service. The micro entrepreneurship model have the following questions. Does the idea fire up your motivation? Is it viable business proportion in your area? Does it match the needs of your client? Check it, the basic market research. Test it out of marketplace. Consult with the expert. Look out for consumption in the field. It is a sunrise industry or not. Take your business opportunity. Project creation is a once idea is screened and viable business opportunity emerges, the project has to be ensured in all dimensions. The four P's is important for the project consumption. Product, it may be shape, size and nature. Process, it involves technology and procedure to create the product. Place, location of the plant. Partner. The partner may be technological or financial collaborator. To conclude the session, micro entrepreneurship is the attitude of starting a new business with the capacity and willingness to develop, organize and manage a business venture along with any of its risk in order to make a profit. Micro business is one which operated out of business owners residence and can be located in an established office within the residence. A small office or home office is considered a micro entrepreneur since it is typically a fewer than 10 employees and is categorized one of the small business. The cost of starting a micro entrepreneur does not need to be high. So anyone can easily start micro entrepreneurship. It is possible for keeping the ownership to one person, there is a best possible chance that the person will have real control over it. Thank you.